Hi, I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet, and today I'm making a video for John. I think John's in New York. This video is for him. Uh, John asked me to make a video of this beautiful UX30A, and, uh, and that's what I'm here to do. So uh, we just got these pianos in recently, about a week and a half, two weeks ago, from Japan directly. And uh, this, is a, um, this is the UX30A. Um, and right to my right here is the regular standard U3. They're both essentially the same pianos, except for uh, differences in design of the uh, cabinet and uh, the, uh, the rear of the piano, the back of the piano. Because the uh, U3 is a standard post design, so the camera come around here and show you what a post design is in the back of the piano. You'll see it's got four posts. This is this, this is called a post, this is a post, this is a post, and this is a post. On the X series, you know, it's totally different. This is called a radial back design, and this is a, uh, this is a manufactured so that the piano uh, holds tune better and also has a stronger or bigger tone. So uh, generally, the X series sell for about 30% more than the U series, uh, new that is. And uh, they're also a little bit harder to find. Now this particular X series is like a super deluxe X series because it has uh, all of this differences here. For instance, it has a recessed fallboard. As you see it open and close, it goes into the piano. Whereas on the U3, the camera will come around here towards the front. You see the U3, the music stand just leans against the front. I'm sorry, the fallboard just leans against the front, and the music stand is this little shelf that, oh, that just folds down. However, on the UX30A, you have this really nice music stand. This is even bigger than what you find on the grand piano. So if you have music books, they're not going to fall off, and uh, it's a real nice way to be able to keep your, um, keep your, your, your music, you know, so... Uh, because the standard music uh, shelf on a U3, you can only really have one piece of music at a time up there. But over here you can have a lot. And the other thing too, which is nice on the UX30A, is that behind here, there are sound holes that allow the sound of the music to come out. Because if you notice on the U3, it's just a straight, solid front. So if I take this off, you'll be able to see right away these two holes, which have a screen, and which allows the sound to come out. And then on the, uh, on the inside of the piano, uh, you'll see in the bass section and in the tenor section, we have what are called agraphs. This is where the strings pass through these little brass fixtures. Uh, they pass through holes and then to the tuning pins. Same thing over here. Now these are only generally found on grand pianos as I can illustrate on this grand that we have sitting right here, this Yamaha C3, you'll see the same design. All the A graphs, okay? Uh, these are not found on the U3, because on the U3, they just have these little pins that the strings pass by, and there are no A graphs, okay? And then they have a pressure bar here. They have that difference also on the U30, uh, on the UX30, it has nickel-plated tuning pins, and not blue pins, because the tuning pins that are called blue pins, these dark ones, um, uh, although these are very, very clean, they're like brand new, they are more susceptible to oxidation than the nickel plated ones. Now as far as everything else in the pianos, they're identical. It's really the same piano. Uh, I'm going to put this back up here. I'm going to play it for you, give you an idea of what it sounds like. And while I do that, Uh, the camera can go around and um, give you an idea of the condition that it's in and uh, you can see exactly and hear exactly how it sounds. Mm -hmm.
that's a little bit of Chopin for you. And I hope you can hear the, the sound. Very, very big bass. Uh, you don't hear the same type of bass on the U3. The U3 sounds nice, but it doesn't have the amount of sustain and the depth that the UX. Generally speaking, these pianos are found in, uh, in, in, you know, uh, people would buy these pianos because right now a piano like this, new, costs as much as a baby grand. And uh, in many instances where you might find a big, big city like New York in a small apartment, somebody might have the available uh, funds to buy a baby grand, might not have the room. This is the piano they buy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my video, and if you want any more information, feel free to call me. Piano Outlet Coral Springs, 954-803-3319. Thank you.